Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving here from Signature Realty Group, Remax, Lake of the Ozarks. Hope you guys all have a great time with your family. As we have family coming in, we've got all different age ranges going over and you might feel like you need a dictionary in order to understand some of these kids nowadays. Uh, so we'll kind of help you guys today with uh, the translation in this. Let me grab my reading glasses real quick so I can see here fine. Oh wait, I don't need those because I'm a youngster. So, so as you're going back, there's probably as John said, a, a, a age age difference and maybe a communication gap uh, as you're sitting around or sitting around the table. So we thought we'd just shoot these out there to you. So if I say, man, that is awesome. So one thing that we usually like to say is, depending on the context, either lit or dripping. So for example, right now, my friend Derek over here, he's dripping. He's got a nice suit on. It's well fitting for him. He's got a nice clean white shirt on. He is absolutely dripping. And for food, we might say, this is Boston. You know, like, this is some great food. <laughs> okay, Derek, okay. I'm more? catching on. Okay, yeah, okay. any more? So, yeah, um, so the, the, your nephew goes to the kitchen and he steals a cookie out of the cookie jar. I say, I caught you red-handed. So what we would say is, we would say that you are caught in 4K. That there's no denying of the evidence. You are caught clear as day that you stole those cookies. Easy one. Mm -hmm. What's up, dude? Uh, we like to say bro nowadays, maybe broski, maybe jit, maybe something along those lines. So if you hear bro, okay. it's just a common word for dude. Okay. I can't stop thinking about that, or I can't stop thinking about you. Um, so being that I'm a real estate agent, I like to say living rent-free in your head. Um, <laughs> so okay. that would be kind of... Can't get it out of your head. Can't get it out of your head. All right. They don't need to do anything. You're just all day thinking about that one thing. Okay. Um, that was shady. We like to say, give us a little vibe check here. Let's say you walk into the party, you know, everybody's happy to see each other for Thanksgiving and you've got that one kid who's just sitting alone in the corner, you know, frown on his face. We want to give that kid a vibe check and make sure he has a great time. Nice. Uh, easy one. Great job on that turkey. We would say, I ate. All right, so let's, let's keep going here. Um, man, that came out of nowhere. I like to say, man, I'm shook after that. So let's say somebody drops a big bomb at the family dinner that you weren't expecting. He would say, that came out of nowhere. Well, I would say, I'm shook. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's true. Facts. It's just all facts, no printer. <laughs> just a completely correct statement. Right okay, I haven't heard that one. <laughs> um, you probably don't want to say this at the Thanksgiving table, but, man, that turkey was just average. That turkey was so mid. That's what we say. Kind of means just middle of the road, nothing to write home about. All right, let's do one more. Um, uh, fancy or over the top. We like to say bougie. So, for example, <laughs> there's your car outside in the parking lot. That nice little Buick <laughs> he's got. That is, a that is a bougie ride right there. Right on. Well, we hope this helps you guys with a little <laughs> bit of translation with the generation gaps at Thanksgiving. We wish you guys... A, a wonderful Thanksgiving, safe travels, and God bless.